All right, I want to go into the book of 2nd Ezra, the fifth chapter. I want to read the 43rd verse. It says, So I asked him and said, You know, Ezra is dealing with the most high through the angel Uriel. 2nd Ezra 5 43. So I answered and said, Couldst thou not make those that have been made and be now? And that are for to come, like us in the future, at once. Could you make everybody at once, one time? That thou might have showed thy judgment the sooner. Couldn't you have made everybody at one time that you could show their judgment the sooner? Then as he me as said, the creature may not haste above the maker. We the creatures cannot cannot make the most high rush something that he have in his own power. Neither may the world hold them at once that shall be created therein. So the earth can't hold everyone that's going to be created on this earth at one time. And I said, as thou hast said unto thy servant that thou was given life to all, hast given life at once to the creature that thou hast created, and the creature bear it, even so it might now also bear them that now be present at once. And he said unto me, Ask the womb, it's for all you women, ask the womb of a woman, and say unto her, you woman that had children before, if thou bringest forth children, why dost thou, why dost thou it not together? But one after another. Why didn't you just say, I'm going to have four children, five children at the same time? That's what he's saying. And not one after the other. Pray her, therefore, to bring forth ten children at once. <laughs> what he said? I said five. He said ten children at once. Pray for her, to, therefore, to bring forth ten children at once. And I said, she cannot. She can't do it, but must do it by distance of time. Got to spread some time out before she could do it. Then said he unto me, even so have I given the womb of the earth to those that be sold in it in their times. I go take time for people to die and then have people to be born on the earth again. For like as a young child may not bring forth the things that belong to the age, even so have I disposed the world which I created. And I asked and said, Seeing thou hast now given me the way, I will proceed to speak before thee. For our mother, of whom thou hast told me that she is young, draweth now nigh unto age. He answered me and said, Ask a woman that bear children, and she shall tell thee. Say unto her, Wherefore are not they whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature? Then you know that we less of stature than the, than the uh, brothers and sisters of our nation of old. Less of stature. And she shall answer thee, They that be born in the strength of youth are of one fashion, and they that are born in the time of age when the womb fell in are another, are otherwise different. Consider thou therefore also how that ye are less of stature than those that were before you. Let you know we got smaller and smaller and smaller in stature. Consider thou therefore also how that ye are less of stature than those that were before you and so are they that come after you less than ye so we got smaller and smaller and smaller in stature and height of you and so are they that come after you less than ye as the creatures which now begin to be old and have passed over the strength of you and said I 
Uriel, I beseech thee, if I have found favor in thy sight, show thy servant by whom thou visited thy creature. <laughs> he got all kind of questions, right? But he was given 204 books. We only have 80. Ezra was given 204 books, 124 more books than what the average person has. So he was, he was blessed a hell of a lot. That is not really um, given to the world. Um, so go to uh, Second Ezra thirteen and. We're going to look at uh, start at verse 1. And it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. This is Mashiach Yavashai coming back to the earth to judge. But he sees coming out of the sea and the wind from the sea that it moved all the ways thereof, right? So jump up to verse, um, verse 51. And it says, Then said I, O Most High, that beareth rule, show me this. Wherefore have I seen the man coming up from the midst of the sea? And he said unto me, Like as thou canst neither seek out nor know the things that are in the deep of the sea, and then go so far down into the sea, even so can no man upon earth see my son. Or those that be with him. Those are thousands of angels. Thousands of angels. That's the Mashiach that was shot. And thousands of angels. But in the daytime. Which is when he come back. 